Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. That's a lot more elaborate than a copy machine. The checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw at the switch. <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello. What do you think you're doing? Oh no, no, no! Wait, wait. But I'm your master. I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. What's a horse? Yeah. That's not a seahorse. Well, getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. I thought you hated robots. These unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Is it a conch though? Kind of looks like a magic conch. The toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Vita Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. <laughs> Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, <laughs> I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. You say that a lot, SpongeBob. The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? <laughs> uh... Alright, so yes, this is Battle yeah, for Gary, Bikini Bottom. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Hmm. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? <laughs> Gary, how do I how do I read? Help! Ow. I've forgotten how to read the signs that I put up in my own home that I need to read to learn things. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. <laughs> ah, couldn't say the R button because this is available on multiple systems. Ow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. All right. Explore the rest of SpongeBob's house. Okay, so I did stream this game. Uh, but I checked the save data, and it was in 2014. Late 2014. But it's been years, so I genuinely don't remember everything about this game. I forgot about this. I mean, it certainly seems familiar. <laughs> Your Bikini Bottom stinks. Oh. Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror. 
Oh. So much for fixing this quietly. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. More like small trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I do remember like big things, like some of the levels and stuff like that, but I don't remember little details and stuff, so don't think that I'm like faking a, a reaction here because you're like, ah, I caught him, he played this. Because yes, I played this, but it's been a long time. Okay, right, so I have a double jump. Uh, it's also a little, little odd getting used to it after just playing Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Already you can see, first of all, oh, I can move the camera up and down. Well, I mean, it's kind of just drastic, but at least I can do that. Whoa. All right, SpongeBob, please never do that again. Uh, but aside from, <laughs> already you can see that the animation and the character models look a lot better. SpongeBob and everyone else still looks a little bit creepy, <laughs> especially when they, when they kind of twerk at you. Um, but but overall, it, it's a huge improvement, and this game was only a year after Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, if you can believe it. It's a picture of SpongeBob and Squidward. So the collectible, the basic collectible, instead of the balloons, are the shiny objects. I remember that much. And the main collectible, instead of the letters, we're going more traditional in that it's a golden object because all of these 3D platformers, it has to be a, a golden star, a golden puzzle piece, a golden page, I guess. I don't know. The Golden Spatula. Not to be confused with Legend of the Golden Spatula. From Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Oh, the Mr. Krabs is sweaty jokes. I love those jokes. Uh, I... Ahoy there, SpongeBob. Oh. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Oh, right. Yeah, that's that's the worst thing about this game, I think. Oh, in what I've played, or what I remember, and this is the thing that Revenge of the Flying Dutchman definitely has on it, it's that, for some reason, Clancy Brown isn't wow, here. A promotion! So... That's right, a promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and yeah. bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Oh, so they do remember seahorses. Then why was SpongeBob playing with a real horse? In the it shines. Yeah, it's a little, a little weird to get used to because I had the I had the hover, like the the pressing A twice would do the hover. This will give me a double jump, which is honestly probably better in the long run. I make myself a snack. Ooh, Kelpo. So already you can tell, you can tell that there's a lot of little references to specific episodes and specific things. Shiny objects, yes, collect them. Different colors of them. Red is the most common, least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually hard to find or more dangerous places. That's good to know. No, I don't want to read this again. I, oh, wow, I went, I pressed R to do like a crouch jump like I was in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Silly me. Uh, I'm trying to see what this is. Looks like a, a bowling trophy? Yeah, one of those is a bowling trophy. One of those is a, one of those is a number one trophy. I don't know. Uh, Why wow, you can actually go in his bathroom this time? Yep, that controls the camera. Got it. Got it. Got it. A button. I'm done. Hey, it's the ringer. Don't get stuck. A little odd that SpongeBob's main bathroom here is on the first floor. Far, pretty far away from his actual room. But maybe, maybe he's got like a, a slot that he can slot. Oh wow! I would not have. I would have missed that if, uh, if I didn't look up. You gotta look up from time to time, really. Can't can't spend your life looking down. What is that? Is that snail po? Uh, no, it's clam ceviche. I can't read that. Clam cream, I actually I think. Sorry, I'm just I'm just I'm taking my time. I want to take my time with this game. I want to really immerse myself in it because it. I mean, I I just. You really get an appreciation for how how amazing it is. I mean, I'm in the first area. I'm already like praising it, but compared to Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, which, like I said, I, I gave it I gave it a C. Uh, this is just already just leaps and bounds ahead. And this is, this is only a year later. This is a golden spatula. They need to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. I will need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Woohoo! I don't know who's cheering, but someone is. Uh, saving game. 
All right. Hmm. Ten shiny objects to go over here. I think we got that. Sweet. Our button capture SpongeBob's bedroom. Aw, that's a picture of him with Murray Man Particle Boy. Although Murray Man is missing his belt. He's just got an M. It's a little odd. Oh, well, okay. I pressed X to do the slam jump, and sure enough, there actually is a slam jump. That's right. And it's a bubble jump, too, which, like, look at how cool that looks. That's awesome. Uh, and if I recall correctly, yep, Y is like a Viking jump. Yes, I know how to jump. I, I got that. Let's do the Viking jump. Although, I can't, I can't move, like, horizontally after I do the Viking jump. Oh, and Spongebob can grab onto things. Look at Spongebob, man. He's learned a lot. Oh, and this is a pair of Spongebob's underwear. So I'll lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot, touches dangerous objects, or surfaces. Like... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Like this. Once Spongebob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area over again. Spongebob may get back underwear. He was uh, lost by... Did that say he was lost? Or he has... It should be he has lost. Maybe it did say he has lost. By collecting additional pairs along the way, Spongebob starts out by wearing three pairs of underwear right now. But there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which if found will allow Spongebob to wear more than three pair at a time. Oh, so there are health upgrades. That's cool. Spongebob can check how many pairs of underwear he has by pressing the Z button. That's also how I check how many pairs of underwear I'm wearing. But, uh... <laughs> the whistle... Okay, so instead of pants, now we have underwear. All right, all right. A little, little more, a <laughs> little, little more SpongeBob. I mean, even just like the dialogue and the way it's written and the timing of that. Looks like Patrick was cropped out of that photo, but the timing, or maybe that's Gary. I don't know. You see that little brown thing? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the timing on the, <laughs> the freaking uh, thing coming down, the safe, like classic SpongeBob. Ooh. Gosh, Spongebob, you sure read a lot. Well, actually, never mind. It's just painted on. I remember this room. It teaches us all the, the basics here. So B, and he'll do a bubble spin. He's the bubble spin to smash open, smash open tiki's. Defeat walls, robots. Got it, got it. Oh, right, there are these tiki's, and I smash them to get more shiny objects. Coolio. So yeah, Krabs wants these, so I guess they're valuable. Although it's just, it's, man, it's so distracting, like that it's not Clancy Brown as Mr. Krabs. Honestly, and I don't know, maybe this is a controversial opinion, so it's just teaching me to double jump and stuff. Uh, maybe this is a controversial opinion, but I would have rather ha not had Mr. Krabs in the game at all than to have this weird non-Krabs, or just like, I don't know, could they have maybe just used voice clips from episodes and like cobbled it together? I have a feeling it was a, a rights issue. Maybe he wanted more money or something um, because he's a bigger star. I, I don't entirely know. I don't know why maybe a scheduling conflict. Maybe this is, maybe it's answered. I don't know. So maybe, maybe like someone answered it on Twitter or something. Whenever I have these burning questions, it turns out that someone has already asked uh, one of the people uh, that work on the show on Twitter, and there's usually an answer. Oh, there's a thing above the... See what he's doing? Press the Z button. Oh, okay, so Z button lower right is how many of Patrick's lost socks. That's right. Those are other collectibles for us. Uh, naturally, uh, finally, the number in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear. So, yeah, so Z brings up the HUD. That's super convenient. Man, like, they... It's crazy. Oh, that's right. We have to do a thing. Uh, press start when the game is paused. Uh, how well Spongebob is doing in each level of the game. Pressing right and left will give Spongebob a hint on each golden spatula that Spongebob knows about. By pressing the A button with the hint for the golden spatula selected, Spongebob can take a taxi directly to the area of that spatula from anywhere in the game. That, my friends, is good game design. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at this. Yeah, wow. The, just the HUD even looks better. It's amazing. Wow. I can't believe how close this game came out to uh, Flying Dutchman and just how already... I mean, this is this is pretty awesome. All right. But yeah, A takes the taxi, and it, that's the that's the fast travel in this game, because there is fast travel. Um, so let's see. From Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob's Closet, which we've gotten. No socks. So yeah, look at... Here's all the levels. Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of levels. And then we have tasks from Patrick... 
crabs. I guess crabs are the shiny objects, and Patrick's are the socks, maybe? Jump at lab, that's probably the final area. I should probably not this or whatever. Um, so remember this like a platforming thing I have to do by stomping on. Which one is it? No, I know this. Uh, this is like, is it this one? No, we pressed that one. Yeah. Okay. Now we already did that. Do I just leave? I feel like I did the exact same thing when I played this for the first time. I couldn't remember. Yeah, we, we bubble bashed that. We pushed that button. We saw that icon. We did the thing. We bubble bounced. Press the B button and do a bubble spin. Yep, we, we did. Right? I meant to... Actually, is there a way for me to... Uh, to look in first person in this? Oh, there is. You're holding R. Interesting. What does this beach ball do? Can I move it? Or... Hmm. Do I have to... Uh, after I've just been praising the game, now I have no idea what I'm doing. But this is my own fault for not paying too much attention to what I'm doing here. What? Alright, well, I guess we'll head out. You guys can tell me what I missed in there, or what, why that's... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I missed something in there. Alright, well, we only need one to leave. So let's get going. Maybe that's something we come back to. But I, I could have sworn there was like a platforming thing that we have to go like up and around uh, the pineapple ah, there. There's Maybe that's later. Like the sounds of your own neighborhood. All right. Hey, SpongeBob, you're polluting my thinking space. Why are you thinking outside my house, sir? Steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, look at those lip movements. Those are a lot better. Of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't <laughs> know. Not for me though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. No. I love those spoons like they were my children. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help! But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. So what's the your dreams? Oh, is that a hint? Am I is there a dream level? You got Or is that foreshadowing it. for creature from the Krusty Krab? So why exactly did I did I miss that? Sorry, that it, it's um when you kind of start a new game in the Let's Play, there's a lot of cutscenes and stuff, and you're trying to trying to get focus on it, but also learn the game and commentate and all that. Oh right, Bubble Buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension. And oh, look at that reference right there. Mmm. Mwah, beautiful. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. That's from um. Uh, the episode where Patrick copies SpongeBob. Oh, I, yeah, sorry. I cred the name. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. <laughs> where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right. Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Yeah, we Try know. It out. We're aware. <laughs> Don't forget to defeat robots or tiki. Right, we know. Okay. I thought you had something new for me, sir. I gotta stop calling people, sir. Alright. Can't get over there, probably. Yeah, look at this. Look at... SpongeBob has moved up from taking the bus, and now he's taking hey, the taxis. Hey, Nice sock. What sock? <laughs> the one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. <laughs> well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. 
a bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Why does Patrick have socks? <laughs> sure thing, Patrick. That's what I want to know. For. Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean a Canadian squirt gun. You mean spatula? Oh, spatula, yeah. Uh, Bless you. <laughs> Patrick, why are you hoarding golden spatulas? I need them to defeat robots. All right, cool. We don't need to catch them. Awesome. We just need to kill them. To fade them out of existence. Which I guess is probably worse than dying. To just be, like, faded out of existence. Yes, yes, I know. No one can remember you. I, I sounded like I got sad there, but I, I just kind of had to burp a little. Uh, yes, I know, I know. I'm just collecting these things. Did, did like a nuclear strike hit here? Is that uh, is that what the robots did? Oh, way to miss that. All right. Oh, right. There's platforming to get up. Well, there's a golden spatula there. And I believe there's something on Squid's house, too, but we need to... Yep. Also, the narrator isn't creepy in this game, thankfully. Okay. Doing a little bit of platforming. Ooh, this is... Alright. It's kind of bothering me a little that I can't remember the name of the episode, but... Patrick and Spongebob in the awards. Big Pink Loser. There we go. I, it's like... Well, I don't know. You, you, you lose the ability... I, I sound like I'm like getting up there in years. You lose the, the ability to recall things when you get to my age at, at 23. But uh, but yeah, the, the ability to recall that stuff, it's like... It's like knowledge from seasons 5, or probably from like 7 and onwards at this point. Oh, I can hear Squidward. Nice. From like seven and onward, have kind of like replaced, like j just Parts easy recall of things from seasons one, two, and three. Relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? Except for like the the obvious stuff, like the like for instance in the background there, that's that's Squidward's face. I am so from sorry, Squidward. One sec. And I were just playing a game, and now I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both <laughs> of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? <laughs> that should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. Hmm. I don't think SpongeBob jumping around like an idiot has ever made Squidward smile. But yeah, that's, that's the... Oh, well, maybe not, actually. I thought it was Squidward's face that's like, does this look unsure to you? But that doesn't exactly look like it. Uh, it might actually be an artist interpretation of that. Yeah, we gotta break everything. I remember this. Who are these people, Squidward? You wanna tell me about it? Do you have other friends? Other annoyances in your life? It shines! Alright. I don't think we can break that. Anything else, Squid? Or end my life. Uh, no, that leaves. Squidward, uh, I hate to tell you this, but there's no... This, this is just one room. Your house is one room, and it's up a... How? <laughs> the geography of this is baffling. Is that jellyfish fields over there? Kind of looks like it. Like a very... Like an artist interpretation of it. Okay, oh. okay, okay, just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula... Will you please go away? I thought we had to deface his I knew painting there. Help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. <laughs> All right. Right? Like, don't... Oh, there's a... I see a shiny thing up there. Uh, the game freezes while it saves. Don't we, like... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. How do... Uh-oh. Okay, that worked. Alright, see you, Squid. Try not to get kidnapped or anything. <laughs> Even the bubble transition looks better. So, if I'm remembering correctly, like, we can 
smash these again and get more shiny things? That doesn't seem right. Can we just, like, infinitely farm them? Not that that's what I want to do in particular, but... Huh. So, like... Yeah, there are no total... Oh, there's a total for that. There's, like, a grand total, but there's no level totals. Okay, interesting. Alright, let's get the mission from Krabs anyway. SpongeBob! Oh. This slapping robot crisis is making the crusty crab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more crusty crab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? You didn't look too sad there, but SpongeBob. Because you're gullible, I'm gonna help <laughs> you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You okay. Will. Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? Yes. I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Sorry, just move in the game case. Uh, I noticed the text in this game, the eyes are lowercase. The, one of the default fonts that they use for like most things in SpongeBob uh, that has the, <laughs> I was like, what is this R pointing to? But it's, it's Plankton. Uh, the default has the lowercase I. So how many, oh yeah, jellyfish fields, we can enter it. Uh, yeah, I think we want to do this. Even though that taxi is not taking us into jellyfish fields, apparently it's just kind of driving, uh, in the wrong way. Ah, uh, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. <laughs> Squidward, you got here pretty fast. <laughs> he is freaking out. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, it's going better than your last time jellyfishing. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. <laughs> and oh my gosh, you're bald! <laughs> I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of king jellyfish jelly to the affected areas. Mm. <laughs> King j j jellyfish. They really probably should have had uh, like an animation for when SpongeBob was upset or scared or something, because like well, I guess you're off the scale. They look pretty happy. Die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that. Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Whoa. Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Name and address with Eld. All right, uh, so that gives us our overall mission for this level. And that we want to get all the way up to the top and and uh, and defeat King Jellyfish or the King Jellyfish to get the King Jellyfish jelly. Ah, so yes. Ooh. Hmm. Just a sock over there in the water. Is the teleport box? When you have both teleport boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. That's something that Revenge of the Flying Dutchman didn't have. This is this is even more fast travel. Well, this is this is uh, shortcuts. So, right. So we haven't we have to receive the tasks to like be able to see them. But once we can see them, <laughs> I, know <he's... laughs> I, I love that. Of, of course, why 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 not? Right. <laughs> It's a SpongeBob game. What does SpongeBob do? I know he's Squidward. That's a task. Ooh, let's make sure we... Not that we need to get every last one, but the more of these we get, the better. Because technically, yeah, I guess technically we could farm them. So that's kind of reassuring, and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I kind of like the 
collecting every one of them, or, you know, most of them, as is, is the case with Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, of the minor collectibles. I don't know how I feel about the fact that they just kind of, like, respawn and we get them from uh, just whatever. So, there's toilet paper on these trees. I guess the robots are pranksters. Oh, gosh. And I have a feeling something's going to come out of the water there at some point so we can get to that sock. Uh, what is this? Okay, let's do it. How did that clam do that? That clam just organized an airstrike. Hmm. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the, there's bungee jumping in this game. We'll get to that. I do remember that much. Whoa. But there is, there's plenty of this game that I have not seen because... Yeah, I only got up to... Swing and a miss. I only got up to the... Uh, the... What's it called? The rock bottom. And rock bottom was... Rock bottom was actually pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda wonder if the game gets tougher than that. Alright, there's a sock. Kinda hidden off to the side there. Is that... Oh, wow, you can actually see the chum bucket. And you can see... Sp wow, you can see SpongeBob's pineapple over there. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's like low, it doesn't look great, but like the fact that you can actually see other levels from where you're at, or like the hub from where you're at, that's pretty cool. That's that's a nice detail. Yes, I, could, I got that, it's a checkpoint. But if you did, all right. So yeah, this, and then mechanically, yeah, the fact that it has checkpoints, it has uh, warps, or you know, two-way warps, the fact that it has fast travel, just, Good, good game design right here. I mean, it really isn't difficult to see why people really like this game. This is a freezy fruit. Only Patrick can use a freezy fruit. So, that's a thing. Oh, right, he freezes the water and he can get that. Okay, Patrick can retrieve his own dang lost socks. Fuck. I was gonna do it a different way, but the game really wants me to. I'll completely fail at this task. Sure, why not? But yeah, that's the thing in this game. You can play as other characters. Sandy and Patrick, to be specific. That that replaces the, the costume mechanics. Which is pretty cool. Get more characters involved. Uh, the extra hump up. Yeah, I know. But I still can't get on there. Hmm. I can't do that because I can't move horizontally. Oh, I was supposed to jump off the tiki's. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I guess that means I definitely... I don't have to sweat it if I miss stuff. Like, or if, if I miss that. If I miss socks, uh, I'll sweat it. And this game, we will probably try it 100%. We'll try it. We'll get every spatula, and we'll try to get every sock. I don't know if I actually need to do that to complete it, but we will definitely do those two things. I think we'll probably do... We'll probably go through the level, get all the spatulas, or as many as we can, and then the socks that we find, we'll find, and then the socks that we don't find, we'll do like a sock roundup in later videos. How about that? I think that sounds about good. And if I have to consult a walkthrough, I have to, but I think you guys will probably tell me <laughs> where the socks are, and, and I don't mind that. It's like... It's cool that... Oh, wow, there's... There's downtown Bikini Bottom. Wow. That's another level. It's cool that you can see it from here. Uh, but that's the thing that I like. I like I like getting information from the comments instead of like looking something up on a walkthrough. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Fast travel back to where we were. That's helpful. Well, that's, that's less frustrating. Anti-frustration features are important. Ha, I wanted to catch that jellyfish, but nope, not going to do it. Can't do it. But yeah, I, I like that you guys giving me hints and tips and stuff because like walkthroughs if you look at a walkthrough you kind of get like everything like you see everything you get like major spoilers you get just kind of all the information at once but when you're just kind of reading the comments you get tips from people you just kind of hear bits and pieces it's like it's like friends discovering something together and unfortunately that feeling has kind of gone away in, in the age of the internet Harry's eyes
Uh, but that is something that's kind of gone away in the information era where we can just learn everything at once. Oh, I thought this was the, to get the bungee. Nope. Other direction. Uh, I mean, it's great to have all this information at our fingertips, but it was fun back in the day kind of figuring stuff out amongst your classmates, like where Pokemon were and, and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> SpongeBob's butt. Alright, and I think we got all the shiny things. Woohoo! But yeah, that's. If you ever, ever had that feeling, it's always, like, really rewarding when you're. You kind of, like, talk to friends who play the same games as you, and you, you kind of learn something from them. Yeah. And then there's, like, rumors around the playground where, like, ooh, you can get this Pokemon if you move the truck, or if you beat the Elite Four a million times. And then you spend your life doing that, and then you wind up with broken dreams. <laughs> I'm not, I'm definitely not knocking the information era of the internet. Like I'm saying, it's helpful. It's just, that's like one small thing that unfortunately we've lost out on. Because when the information is so simple to get, it's, you just kind of like take it for granted a little. Uh, that villain, I can definitely say, is a little bit ham-fisted. <laughs> Spongebob makes a tongue face when he does that. Interesting. Uh, so that's one of the things, this is one of the things I got wrong uh, when I was, when I made defeat robots with Resident Evil. I know, I know. But yeah, the fact that, you're welcome, sir. The, the fact that it's not Plankton that's the villain of this game, technically, I mean, I don't know, maybe he'll be like the final boss or something, he'll like reclaim the robots. Um, but I guess technically, it's more just the robots themselves that are the villains, which is cool. This Plankton always being the villain gets a little stale, but granted, this is the first game that we're playing, we're playing this villain. Yeah. Not that he was particularly helpful in the last game, stealing that letter that we needed. Oh yeah, ultra combo. So did these guys, these guys respawn? I, I mean, I obviously, to leave the the level and come back they will and if we maybe leave the area they will but luckily it doesn't look like they immediately respawn that's kind of one of the things that i don't like uh in games especially like uh banjo kazooie is pretty guilty of this but enemies that just like respawn immediately after you kill them it's like what's even the point it just kind of encouraged me to just walk right by them it's especially annoying if you're like kill them and you're like looking around trying to solve a puzzle and they just immediately respawn while you're looking around or whatever. But it doesn't seem like these guys do that. Or at least if they are on a respawn timer, it seems to be decently long. Okay. So yeah, uh, this level design, <laughs> this is goo. I'm glad they told me because otherwise I would have assumed it's water. Uh, Spongebob and Patrick can't swim. Oh, that's a reference. So don't let them fall in the goo. That's a reference to the episode where SpongeBob is a sponge guard on duty. And I believe in other episodes they've been shown not to be able to swim. Like I think in uh, in the recent Goo Lagoon episode, the the. Wow, why can I? I should I should be able to remember this the name of this episode. It's in the ninth season, uh, but I guess I can't off the top of my head. Uh, but the one with the the globs of doom. I think they have like water wings and stuff. All oh, right, these things are teeter totters. It's also Patrick's staycation where he can't swim. So yeah, so that thing will spawn enemies for me. Oh, for, not for me, against me, I suppose. All oh, right, and it'll explode. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So we gotta be careful when we defeat it and then get out of there. I'm glad they told us that because sometimes, ooh. Like, like when you kill enemies in a lot of games, uh, sometimes they'll have like an exploding animation because it just looks cool. But it's, it's not always clear if that explosion is actually going to hurt you or not. So I'm glad the game told us, like, yeah, don't don't stand near it when, when you do that. All right, to the jellyfish caves. See, so yeah, what I like about this level design is that it is 
it's it's linear, but it's also not. You have options of where you want to go. There's plenty of nooks and crannies. Ooh. What? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's that sponge kid. <laughs> now, what was I supposed to tell you? It's just, got a, it's just like an old man voice, really? Patrick is surrounded Ugh. by robots and needs my help. Yeah, maybe they saved on the budget by, like, not uh, hiring the oh, famous actors. No. I think it had something to do with massaging <laughs> my feet. Ugh. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Kinda look like you're just standing there, Patrick. Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better <laughs> try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Ugh. There I come, Patrick! All right, so there's a box. Now it's time to slide, which is a reference to I had an accident. Uh, All right, and we don't need to collect every one of these. So yeah, that helps. Oh, uh, but yeah, the level design. Oh right, but I believe there's something at the very end. We got to make a jump to get a sock or something, right? Oh, there's that. I should do it again, and I can because of that box. Uh, but let's. Where's Patrick? Hmm. He's, he's probably around. Let, let's do that again. Let's try to get whatever's up there. It's either a sock or a spatula. Yeah, look at that. Oh man, it's so good to have stuff like that, like the the two-way teleport. Just just eliminates frustration or minimizes it anyway. And and that's what, that's what you definitely want to be doing in a in a 3D platformer. Well, in any game actually. Really. Yeah, suck. All right. But yeah, it's it's linear in that there's different areas and we're kind of heading through them. As as this jam and music comes on. Yeah, we got to we got to defeat them and press the buttons. Got it. So it's it's like it's a little linear. It kind of guides you. How many times am I going to start this sentence and then not finish it? But it also is very open with nooks and crannies and stuff, and that's the way I like it. Ooh, cool music. Ooh. It's really satisfying hitting these these robots, Ooh, or or missing and getting hit yourself. All right, I gotta get better at the combat. I can't just just kind of cheese it like I did with Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. But yeah, it's really satisfying seeing them exploding into a bunch of shiny bits. Plenty of health everywhere, which is nice. Alright. Two down. Oh, there's Patrick. Ooh, I see a gold shiny. Ooh. Behind that tree there. I wonder how they came up with the design of some of these robots. Like, why are they ham-fisted? I, I guess it's just a play on words, maybe. Alright. Who's been putting these buttons in jellyfish fields? I feel like that's not good for the environment. You gotta give jellyfish fields a chance, man. All right, let's go talk to Pat, who is over there. Patrick, how did you get there? Like, how did you get there? Okay. SpongeBob. Well, I guess maybe from behind there. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me poop. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. All right. So now we're Patrick. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> no spat for Pat. All right, so Patrick can... He can't do SpongeBob's bubble moves like the... Whoa, but he can do a slam and starfish slam. Uh, I want to go this way. And we've got a belly bop. <laughs> that kind of looks ridiculous. Right. This is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up throw fruit. 
and throw it. Throw fruit will push buttons, destroy tiki's, or damage robots. But use it quickly because throw fruit wilts after a few seconds. So yeah. Oops. Uh, X. Okay. And then X to throw again. Cool. Kind of looks like a watermelon to me. Yep. Oh right, we can we can pick those up. Yep. Also pick up throw tiki's, but only tiki's that don't have other tiki stacked on top of them. Good to know. Just a random townsfish chilling. Cool, cool beard. This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing as SpongeBob or playing as Patrick at bus stops. So this replaces the uh, the tents from Revenge of Flying Dutchman. Patrick can throw fruit up steps and climb the steps, pick up the fruit, throw it again. But he'd better hurry before it blows. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have unlocked Patrick Star. We've gotten a few golden statues, and we are on our way here. So, I hope you guys are excited, because I certainly am. This is going to be a lot of fun. So, if you have any any tips or tricks you want me to know about, anything that I missed, uh, I definitely missed something at the pineapple. Uh, but yeah, l let me know, and, and I'm excited to hear some feedback. So, with that, Pie Guy Rules, out! <laughs>